Ian McQuillan, today you are launching a fundraising think tank. Tell us more about that. Uh, well, it's going to be with Adrian Sargent um, at the Plymouth Fli University with the Centre for Sustainable Fundraising. And what we're going to be trying to do with this is something that, uh, an engine that can bring new ideas into fundraising. So we're looking at ac other academic disciplines outside of philanthropy and fundraising, things like behavioural economics, professional ethics, evolutionary psychology. A lot of ideas and areas which really have a, a, a wide academic literature but maybe don't have much of an impact in, in fundraising. We're going to recruit an advisory panel of, um, of fundraising practitioners and what we want to do is get these ideas into fundraising, turn them into practical ideas so that we can have new ways of thinking, fresh ideas to approach some of the um, problems and issues that we have in the sector. So the issues that you'll be focusing on are actually generated from within the fundraising sector? Yeah, I think the first thing we'll be looking to do is some kind of scoping study to look at the areas that are under-researched or, or could have um, fresh thinking. So if you take a lot of the things that we have in this sector, there are a lot of questions, a lot of ethical questions, a lot of philosophical questions, that, which actually don't have any answers to, or if they do have answers, you have to go back to first principles to work them out every time. So, for instance, is fundraising a profession? You know, most people would assume that it is, but there are arguments that maybe by some criteria it, it isn't a profession, but that's never really been addressed. Another question is how much um, guilt can you use in fundraising, if at all? You know, is it acceptable to make people feel guilty? through what types of appeals, or is it not acceptable to make them feel guilty under any circumstances whatsoever? All these are things that aren't really addressed. And I think sometimes you see with some of the issues that, that you do get, the sector doesn't really have any coherent responses to them. So one of the big things that we've seen is the way that the sector responds to media and public hostility how it responds to face-to-face -face fundraising in the past, how currently it's looking at um, the responses to CEO salaries. It doesn't really have a co coherent response, so I think one of the things that we need to do is look at the way it, it examines these issues itself, develops coherent philosophical responses to them, and then puts them out there much wider. And will the work that you undertake be um, work that you've commissioned or decided to focus on, or will you be accepting commissions from outside? Um, I think the, the centre itself were, um, is going to be accepting um, commissions. I think that functions a bit as a research consultancy as well. Uh, at the think tank, I think what we're going to do with the scoping study, we will look for the, identify the areas that we think we can benefit from our approach. Um, and we will be looking for people to partner us on those. So, so we will be looking for, for, for sponsors, we will look for people to partner us in the research. And if anyone does have an area of research they think that we could contribute to to help them do it, we will certainly be listening to them, eh? that's for sure. And you've listed a whole range of different issues. Um, what would you be focusing on first in the first year or so? Not sure yet. I mean, there, there are some ideas that we are we are looking at. The scoping study is the first one. You've probably seen that Adrian has spoken of some kind of fundraiser's bill of rights. That's really kind of shorthand for looking like some kind of foundational professional document that would involve looking at, you know, the, is fundraising a profession, what rights and duties to fundraisers owe to beneficiaries, to other charity staff, and also what rights and duties are owed to fundraisers as well. We might be looking at something to do with reinventing stewardship. But at the moment, these are ideas that we're throwing around and once we've known who our corporate partners are and what the scoping study says, we'll have a better idea about what our, our programme of work will be. Ian McQuillan, thank you very much. Thank you.